Dad, I get pi, but what's the deal with that number E? I keep seeing it in formulas. That's Euler's number, Steve, about 2.718. It's just as important as pi, especially when it comes to growth, decay, and calculus. So it's just another constant? More than that. E shows up when something grows continuously, like bacteria, money with compound interest, or charge in a capacitor. Wait, continuously? Exactly. If you compound interest more and more frequently, monthly, daily, even every second, the limit of the math approaches E. It's the base of natural logarithms, and it defines exponential growth. So when I see E to the power of X, that's not random? Not at all. It's the function whose rate of change is equal to itself. That's why it's huge in differential equations, population modeling, and electrical circuits. Where does it show up in engineering? Everywhere. It governs how systems charge or discharge, how heat diffuses, and even in vibration damping. The exponential decay you see in RC circuits, that's E in action. So it's like a universal model for change? Precisely. It's the foundation of exponential functions, which describe systems that grow or decay at rates proportional to themselves. Nature, physics, and finance all love E. Man, Euler really snapped with that one. He sure did. He isn't just a number, it's the language of continuous change. <laughs>